Hello everybody, my name is KevGuy378 and welcome back to If My Heart Had Wings. Uh, we ended up last time with taking a look at the, new, the clubs. I'll go take a look. I went down next to the playing field to watch the sports clubs practicing. Before long, I started to feel a little down, so I left. The doctor said that if it's light exercise, it shouldn't be a problem. I try stamping down strongly with my right foot, and there isn't really any discomfort. There, a baseball club which was returning through from the off-campus running course, entered through the school gates. Ah, Minase! You're that Minase, right? The one calling me was an old acquaintance. It's you, Taguchi. It's been a long time. You've come back, right? Did you decide to go to school? No, not yet. I'm going around taking a look now. When I was a kid, I often played baseball in the park. Some of the guys in the group that were my teammates or on the other team were in the baseball team. I'll think about it. I casually responded. And the baseball team members replied, Come on, join us, seriously, as they returned to the playing field. If I could do physical activities, baseball, in fact anything, would be okay. As I grumbled to myself, I felt that I didn't want to go back to the playing field, so I entered the path leading to the back of the school. I spent a while walking around the back of the school. It was called the rear garden, but it looked like it hadn't been taken care of at all, and was just an empty space with weeds growing everywhere. In that empty space, there was a garage. Now that's a garbage. <laughs> Hello. I'm coming in. It looks like no one's here, but I thought I should say something to let them know, just in case. Is this place used for club activities too? Or is it used for lessons? I don't know what they're used for, but there are many tools and parts crammed onto these shelves that cover the walls. Then, in the center, is a huge object covered with a sheet. The feelings that had washed over me like a wave when I watched these sports clubs strangely subside from being here. The tours in the dimly lit garage must have reminded me of the times when I would tinker with my bicycle. What is this used for? I conceal the sound of my footsteps as I sneak inside the garage. It's pretty spacious. There's a tea set here, too. There is no doubt about it. Someone was using this place. I get a strange sense of activity. I guess it must be one of the clubs. Whoa! There's someone here. I was so surprised. It felt like my heart was going to jump out. The person over there seemed not to have noticed me at all. I'm not sure if you could call it a drawing board, but as she stared at the plans that were placed there, she was kind of groaning. Um...
I'm sorry for letting myself in here. I'll be going now. It's no good. She didn't hear me. Her eyes were so serious as she stared at the plans, and she looked like she was really concentrating. I didn't know what to do, so I just looked at her from the side. Now that I look closely, she's really beautiful. Hey, why am I staring at her? I heard the look away. However, it looks as if she still hasn't noticed me, so I take another glimpse. She looks quite mature. Is she in the fifth grade? She's so pretty. Katori is pretty too, but this person is different and has a mysterious charm. <gasps> I like how she became a mysterious beauty. Whoosh! She suddenly stood up. I, I'm sorry. Without thinking, I avert my eyes and apologize, but she's looking straight. Past me and grabs a big, thick book from the shelf. She flicked through the pages and looked like she had found something before going straight back to her seat. In good spirits, she began swiftly drawing the plans. The pen made a nice swoosh swoosh sound as it ran across the page. The feeling of maturity that she had until just now suddenly changed. When she smiles, all of a sudden, she looks more like a kid. As her eyes look straight at the plans, they looked as though they were had a crystal clear purity to them. Just like an innocent child, her eyes looked as though she believed that the world is full of wonderful, sparkling things. <laughs> her hand stopped moving. I got the timing right. Excuse me. She finally noticed me. Even though I had unexpectedly appeared like that, she didn't show any signs of caution and still in good spirits smiled as she greeted me. Hup. Hi. I thought that I should say something to her, but I didn't think of what to say after that. I'm sorry that I just let myself in here. I just transferred here today, but I was taking a look at the club activities, and I got lost and came in here. I got a little carried away and said more than I needed to, but she didn't seem interested at all. She looked as at me as if to say, yes, and... It seemed like a kind of blunt way to say it, but she wasn't angry or anything. She has a strange way of speaking. Well, well I'm sorry. I better go. As I said that, like a total loser, a huge sound echoed around the garage. What? What's that noise? With a lack of energy in her voice, the beautiful girl before me held her stomach and fell down onto the drawing board. Was that the sound of your stomach just now? We were inside the garage, so the sound echoed like crazy and sounded like the growl of a monster. Oh, 
だったことを体が思い出してしまったらしいぞ。She seemed to sway as she tried to get up, but she didn't have enough energy, so she slumped back down with her cheek on the drawing board. Would you like to eat this? I took some bread out of my bag. I thought I'd get hungry with just a lunchbox, so at lunchtime, I bought some melon bread. Her eyes shone as if she were an explorer who had discovered treasure in a cave in some unexplored place. Go ahead. She took the melon bread, opened the wrapper immediately, and bit into the contents. She was getting crumbs everywhere, but it really looked like she was enjoying it as she devoured it. Greedily. Could that be because she's poor? The fact that she was so ecstatic over something like melon bread actually made me quite worried. She didn't show any signs that she was thinking of my generosity and just ate up the high calorie melon bread. She murmured happily, looking happy as can be. She looked like she was mulling over the taste of the melon bread in her brain. She said as she turned back to the drawing board. Then she started drawing the plans again with incredible energy. From the serious look on her face, it seemed that she had already forgotten about me. She's strange. Not just a little, but very strange. Okay, well, I'll be off now. Perhaps she didn't hear me. I put the melon bread wrapper that she had left behind in my pocket and turned to leave. I reluctantly left the special atmosphere of the garage behind me. What a strange girl. Well then, maybe I should head back. By the time I had finished watching the various clubs, the sky was orange as the sun was setting. Hmm? Agaha was at the school gates. Agaha looks towards me and points the cell phone she is holding at me. I told Agaha that I would take a look at the club activities before leaving. Hmm? I left it at the dormitory. Doesn't it say in the school rules that you can't bring cell phones to school? It's alright if you don't get caught, it seems. In my case, I'm not so worried about the school rules. It's just too bothersome to carry a cell phone around with me. Hmm? How do you know my number? Five years ago, when I left Kazagora, I was still just a kid, so I didn't have a cell phone. Well, 
What? Don't bother. It's too much hassle. And with that, I'm out of time. Everyone, thank you for watching. If you guys like this video, please subscribe, like, and share this video. I would appreciate it so much, and it would help me a lot. Thank you, everyone, for watching again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.